Well, you know, from our point of view, looking at uh, tax revenue, we're, we're pleased when the securities industry does well. So you're right, salaries being up 13% in 2017. The bonus is up also, uh, average over $184,000. So, you know, just to put it in context, although by headcount, uh, these jobs only represent about 5% of the employee base in New York City, the income, the wages generated, the salaries generated, over 20% of the wages and salary in New York City. So there's an outsized impact of, um, of, of, these, of this compensation, and that translates into tax revenue for New York City and for New York State. What's your view in terms of whether these levels of pay are justified or, or not, Thomas? Because uh, clearly uh, returns for banks uh, have been pretty good this year. They're also boosting the returns they give their shareholders, whether that's through buybacks, uh, or, or dividends, so it's presumably justified to play their workers more as well. Yeah, and I should point also, we, we, we see for the first half of 2018, uh, profits are up uh, over $13 billion on track, uh, probably to beat last year's uh, profitability. You know, it, it, it's, it's hard to answer that question as to whether the, that compensation level is justified or not. We do know that when the street does well, right now it contributes about 18% of the revenue that comes to New York State that supports all the other spending and programs uh, that we have in New York. We always say it's great work if you can get it, but I think it's important to point out that in terms of the size of the industry, in terms of the jobs, the securities industry is smaller today than it was before the global financial crisis. It does look like for this year we'll see a net gain in jobs. It remains to be seen if that will happen. But uh, I think it's important to point out, although the folks that have the jobs on the street are well compensated, there are fewer of them than there were 10 years ago. You know, as, as I was reading this report on Wall Street pay, I was reminded of this conversation last night at Reuters between Gary Cohn, who used to be the president's top economic advisor and also used to be the president of Goldman Sachs and one of the Reuters reporters. Just, just I want to play it for you. Listen, Mr. Comptroller. Sure. What laws were broken? Well, people lost their homes. People, you know, the banks took all the, these laws, risks. What laws were broken? I guess it's, you know, is, is being... In some, in some cases, reckless or stupid. No, know, who was reckless and frankly. stupid? Was the waitress in, in Las Vegas who had six houses leveraged at 100% with no income? Was she reckless and stupid or was the banker reckless and stupid? Well, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not defending either, by the way. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying the banker should have done more due diligence. Or was the appraiser that appraised the house at the last sale, because the last hail, sale took, pre, took place at 50% more than the prior sale, and he appraised everything at that sale? Who broke the law? I mean, I thought that was pretty extraordinary coming from someone who was at a bank that paid billions of dollars for misleading mortgage bond investors and selling toxic mortgages, mortgages and, and betting against them. What's your reaction to that and just whether yeah. we've learned yeah. anything 10 years since the financial crisis yeah. or Wall Street has? Well, one would hope we have. And look, you know, the reality is when you get off Wall Street to Main Street, there's still a lot of anger out there and still a lot of hurt and pain. And, you know, many people say, how come nobody went to jail over this? But, you know, I, I would say this. We, we had some hard lessons to have learned from what happened 10 years ago. I think having appropriate and strengthened oversight of the industry, financial regulation in response to that made sense. I'm very concerned about the continued efforts uh, to really undercut what was put in place. I think our report, not just this year, but in recent years, shows that mm -hmm. the street has still been able to make money, even with the uh, oversight and regulation. So uh, let's not go too far in pushing the pendulum the other way. We don't want to go back to the high risk, high reward behavior that, that brought us all down. Uh, with a global financial crisis.